Hello. Good evening. I would like to thank you for tuning in to Poem Praise 2. And uh, peace and blessings uh, be upon you. And we're going to move right along into the extraordinary African Americans. The next is James Weldon Johnson. Now, he's a writer, songwriter, civil rights leader, and a diplomat during the time period of 1871 to 1938. James Weldon Johnson was born in Jacksonville, Florida, and went to Atlanta University in Georgia. In 1895, he founded and edited the Daily American, the first African-American daily newspaper in the United States. Three years later, he became the first African-American lawyer licensed to practice law in Florida. Now, in 1901, Johnson moved to New York City, where he and his brother John Rosamond wrote more than 200 songs. One, called You're All Right, Teddy, was used in Theodore Roosevelt's 1904 presidential campaign. And after Roosevelt was elected, Johnson was appointed to diplomatic posts in Venezuela and later in Nicaragua. He also wrote a book called The Autobiography of an Ex-Colored Man. So titled, even though it was a novel, not an autobiography. In the book, he condemned racial injustice. Now after Woodrow Wilson was elected president, Johnson returned to the United States where he finished writing a book a poetry called 50 Years and Other Poems. He also joined the NAACP. In 1917, a riot broke out involving African American soldiers stationed in Houston, Texas. Now, after a hurried trial by court martial, 13 soldiers were secretly condemned to death and executed. When the news got out, Johnson led a bitter protest that forced President Wilson to change the death sentence to a less severe punishment in 10 other cases. As a field secretary for the NAACP, Johnson increased the organization's membership denounced the occupation of Haiti by U.S. Marines and organized a silent march against lynching. Continuing to write, he used his position as editor of the NAACP Crisis magazine to promote the work of African-American writers and artists. One of Johnson's songs, Lift Every Voice and Sing, hmm. is often called the Negro National Anthem. His own voice was one of those lifted to help African Americans who could not speak for themselves. And I kind of had an alarm going off during the, the last little bit of the paragraph, so if you didn't get a chance to hear that, I'm going to just repeat it so it could resonate and sink in. Now, one of Johnson's songs, Lift 
every voice and sing is often called the Negro National Anthem. His own voice was one of those lifted to help African Americans who could not speak for themselves. So certainly a spokesman, spokesperson, but a spokesman for the people. All right. Well, that's um, certainly uh, the end for uh, what I have here on James Weldon Johnson. I do thank you for uh, listening to that this uh, evening. Well, actually it's almost morning time. Uh, next uh, I have for you is going to be Elizabeth Bessie Coleman, which uh, she is a pilot, yes, a female pilot, uh, during the time period of 1896 to 1926. So certainly stay tuned to hear about uh, Miss Coleman, and it just be uh, in a little bit. So until then, be blessed, and later, y'all.